Hello. Um, thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, today, I have uh, my pleasure to have my very good friend, uh, Kyle Higgins from Rescom Design with us. Uh, he's going to talk about a little bit about his business. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Stephen. How yeah, are you doing? Very good. We're, I'm doing well. Uh, before we get into your business, I'm going to have a couple of uh, questions for you. You're a coffee or a tea guy? <laughs> Definitely coffee. Coffee, good, good. That's my choice. Red wine or white wine? Red. Red? Good, good. What's one favorite restaurant that you're missing right now that you wish you could go back to? Um, I would say aloe. Aloe. Okay, I still have to try that. I, I, heard, I hear it's like a two-year waiting list to get in. No, it, it's, it's not a it's not the waiting list. It's um, they release every other month. I think every two months. Yeah. They release spots, and then you have to book. You have to. You have to line. You have to call first. You line up, right? Yeah. So you yeah. They, they release it on the on a specific day. I think it's the first Tuesday of every other month, kind of thing. Um, right. And then you go online. You book it online. Um, I had a reservation booked. Um, that sort of got moved out because of the fact that of COVID, everything else. Oh, you were going to go during like this past couple of months? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, a bummer. Even, even feel like even if you get to go to Alouette, which is downstairs. Right. Great experience. Yeah. Okay. I, I got to try that. We, we haven't had too many, uh, too many uh, date nights with my wife yet. So, you know, we don't, we, it's hard for us to plan that far out ahead. Right. Um, but yes. definitely one place we're gonna go. Last well, question. Alouette, you don't need um, you, you don't, don't need a reservation. You can just you can, or mm -hmm. you can just walk in, and that's what I did when I okay. went in January. I just did a walk in, and they had uh, tables. I had a long wait because yeah. I I was at the IDS show, interior design show. Oh right, there. Right. So when I was done, I met my cousin, and we went to Alouette. We had to wait about forty five minutes to an hour. Okay. Um, but it was, it gave us good time to catch up, just talk. That's um, good. And just catch up on everything that's going on between him and I and yeah. you know, our own lives and then had a great meal. So it sort of worked out. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. I, I think I saw you at the interior design show too. Yes. Back, uh, back in January. Yeah. Yes. So last question. Um, first place you're going to visit outside of North America when this is all over. Trinidad to see Trinidad. Okay, awesome, awesome. That's where you're from, right? Yes, my my yeah. mom and dad still live there, and I actually yeah. had a trip booked to go see them okay. and take my daughter during March break. Right. But because of COVID, I canceled the trip. Yeah. Um, and I I just said, you know, it doesn't make sense, sort of taking the risk. And right. good thing I did. You yeah, um, you, you would have been stuck there, right? Yeah, I would have been, come I would back. been stuck. I think shortly after I canceled, about five days after they closed the borders, they closed, closed the border. airports, everything else. Yeah. So I would have been there to this day. Now, mind you, in my opinion, um, I'd probably be safer. Yeah. Realistically, because <laughs> they don't, they, the cases that they had were all very few, eh? Vacation, came yeah. back, they had them all isolated, um, and they're pretty much down to, you know, they're less than 100. Oh, wow. Okay. They're, they're, they're like 10, 20 cases, some small number. That's um, good. And they're still doing the same sort of same um, procedures as we have here in Toronto, where right. there's a lockdown, everybody's to stay inside. No your, parents, your parents doing well then? Yes, they are. Yeah. Good. Thank okay. You. So let's get into talk about a little bit about your business. Now, I, uh, I've known you for a little while. I know you do... Uh, 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 custom blind and things like that, mm -hmm. but maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what is it that exactly you do and what do you help people? How do you help people? Um, I believe when I started this business 10 years ago, I looked at it as, you know, it wasn't just about the window covering. It had a lot to do about the function and mm -hmm. function to me takes precedent over fashion. We can always right. find a fashion that suits your home. But if we don't have the function, you're always going to be unhappy and you're always going to be, you know, spending money to try and get there. So that's right. what I believe in first and foremost. Awesome. Um, just get the function, then let's find the fashion. And right. with window coverings, there are so many choices. So it's not what we 
we were once accustomed to growing up where you had a roller shade, you pull on the bottom, you let go and it goes blah, 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 the top. Right, right, right. That's you what know, we do. <laughs> 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 we still have the old time. Uh -huh. But you guys focus more on the motorized uh, sort of window coverings, right? Like yeah, so because or? I came out of, um, I, I enjoyed tech and I came out of IT. So right. what uh, I found was I focused a lot on motorization and being able to offer the best product out there uh, so that you can do everything you want to do. So no matter the house and no matter the, the budget, we have right. a product that's going to suit your need. Um, okay. One for every window, whether it's the right motor, the motor size, and tie that back into whatever the roller shade is. And then right. again, tie that back into whatever home automation you want. Right. So whether you have control for, you have crest drawn, you have high, or you're just a little DIYer that you want to tie that back in. Right. Or you want to just have it from your phone to have simple controls, set schedules. That's like for example, awesome. my house, everything opens at 7 a.m. Monday to Friday, oh, 9 a.m. Yeah. on the weekends. And it wow. closes 30 minutes after sunset. That's that's so, really really neat, really neat. Something that I think it's the everybody's moving towards, especially the new build that uh, we're seeing a lot of them are incorporating um, electric blinds, motorized blinds, um, especially when they have like a higher uh, window that's really mm -hmm. high up or a skylight. Um, these are going to be invaluable to uh, to be able uh, you know put on some shade. Uh, without having yeah, to climb, well, you, right? you can because when you when you automate them, you also have the opportunity to be able to set a scene. So you know, we do houses where people have a west facing, and that evening sun from one o'clock for sure sends yeah. the temperature up, or they have paintings on a wall mm -hmm. that destroys the painting. So you know, we can say you know the sun's going to crest at one o'clock. The right. shade drops down automatically at one. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about it. You know, so that way, the one, the, the room's not heating up, or your house is not heating up unnecessarily because the shade's going to provide that barrier. They're going to come and down. And two, yeah. your thermostat's not working over time to try and cool right. the place. You know, That's so a really good point. Yeah, and and it's just it's a simple addition. Like mm -hmm. initially, and we still have sun sensors, so we can actually put a sun sensor on a window right. that will trigger the shades to drop at a certain threshold, it'll drop it. Or we can put a thermostat, um, thermo sensor on right. the window. So again, at a certain temperature, drop the shade or raise the shade. Hmm. So in the winter time, you can use it to your advantage. Right. Have the shade up. If, if the UV is not a, an issue. So if you want to use that heat from the, the sun in the winter, okay, send the shade up. Let right. me get some more heat. That way my thermostat for my HVAC is not, it's not working calling, overtime. Right, it's not calling heat all the time because you're Correct. using the sun. Okay, I like that. And, and I, 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 just, I just thought of it uh, for security purposes. That's also good. Let's say I'm traveling. I'm out of, mm -hmm. out, of, out of my house for like a week. I can open up the blinds, close them to mimic yes. that somebody's actually home, right? It has a vacation mode on it. Oh, it does. So you okay. just literally click one oh, option okay. and it'll randomize okay. the entire thing for Okay, you. okay, okay. So that's, that's a lot easier. I don't have to uh, fiddle with it. Now, um, yeah. you guys do both, uh, I guess from your company name, you both do both uh, residential and commercial as well? Yes. So any kind of it's window covering for Yeah, okay. Correct. Okay. That's, what, that's how I came up with the name. Um, I right. took a bit because we do both mm -hmm. and we have some interesting clients. I've, I've been lucky over the years right. and I've worked with some interesting clients who used to do the shades for country style donuts, discount car rental. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Others. There's storefronts. Other yeah. Lines. Okay. So I guess anybody, uh, I was going to ask you who should call you, but I guess anybody that needs some sort of window covering. Yes. Um, do you do you do curtains or only blinds and curtains? No, both hard and soft fashion. So okay. I always look at drapery curtains as being the icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. If you Decorated. put in, yeah, put in the hard fashion. So the, the function of the roller shade or honeycomb shade, whatever that shade you want, and then mm -hmm. see what you, how you feel. If you still want an additional, mm -hmm. then add the curtain. 
mm-hmm. to the room Makes sense. because that's like icing. It's like baking a cake. You know, you do right. it in stages. If you do it all at once, you might find that it's because curtains have an ornate sense of shrinking a room. Right. So you put it in, no matter what it is, even as a share, you put it in and the room might feel smaller to you. Smaller. So depending on the size of the house, that is you want to sort point. of weigh the option on which way you want to go. Right. So you always do the, uh, the heart covering first and yes. then you decide if you want to. Okay. That's, that's a really good point. Um, something that, uh, we've not noticed also when we're, you know, trying to stage your house, trying to look at uh, the space wise and you had it right on the nail. Uh, a lot of times heavy curtains actually makes the room a lot smaller than, than actually mm-hmm. than they are because maybe it could be the color, the fabric and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, and from staging a house, like if you have a large great room, then mm-hmm. you and you want to sort of make that feel cozier and smaller, then yes, right. if you put a curtain in, it does it. Right. But if you want the room to be depending on the layout and you want more light coming in, right, you know, a simple white roller will be able to do it right to give you one privacy, yeah, and two light. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that's why my shades open, as I stated earlier, at 7 a.m. Because I believe that we should get as much vitamin D as possible. I think so. And I believe you, so. We, so. We do that manually. <laughs> we yeah. do that manually every morning. Yeah. So it's a pain. I need to get you in. <laughs> <laughs> but some people, some people don't want to walk around their house to do no, I, every shade. Yeah. So it's like it's you, you get up and your, your schedule takes you away and you leave yeah. it. So you end up living in a cave. Yeah. And slight depression would come, can kick in in some cases where people mm-hmm. will get depressed because they feel that there's not enough sun. Right. But if we have our shades open at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. with sunrise, you can do it with yeah. sunrise every day and it's close at sunset like I right. do, then you can get that sunlight and feel a little better yep. about just because you're forcing the light into the room. 100% agree because I, I, I have to do that for one of our bedroom lights for our uh, master bedroom. Every morning I have to open it and then nighttime I have to close it. So it's a pain. Um, yes. Definitely something that we're, we're going to try to automate the message of the house as we can. Um, so motorized blinds, all, um, it's going to come that's, into play. And that's sure. one of the things we do, which a lot of people, a lot of um, people in my industry don't. We mm-hmm. will retro your blind for you. Oh yeah. Um, okay. In most cases we can. So if you have pretty much any roller shade can be automated. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, okay. It's just some- a matter of getting the right motor crown and drive. Like I, I have all the components here at my office so we can bring it out to your house, figure out what it is. Or if you take some pictures, send it to us, we can guide you through. Okay. And we can bring the motor and do it on site. So you have no downtime. You're okay. not buying a new shade. I, as, right. again, I believe in function first. So yep. if I can help you so that you keep the shade that you have, cause you're happy with it. Mm-hmm. then let's just do the addition of adding the motor and automating that shade and you're happy. Okay. Okay. Do you have something to show us? You're in your uh, office now, right? Your showroom? Yes. So you wanna... let me see if I can. Yeah. Yeah. So we have, I should go this way, I guess. Yeah. 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 Sideways better. So there's on the back. That's my showroom wall. And nice. we can say, Alexa, turn on showcase. And it'll trigger. Oops. Oh, wow. That is so neat. You're all hooked up to Alexa, right? Yeah, so everything will sort of trigger down the line. And then I put uh, light behind. And I'm presently, so I use the time now to sort of change around. That's why you're seeing some of them not working. Uh-huh. I'm planning on changing around a few of the uh, shades in here. Oh, I see. Okay. So I've been working with that. And then we uh-huh. have on the front, so I can trigger. So if I were to show you on the remote here, one, two, let's say four, and then the shares will motorize draperies. Oh, okay. Okay. So drapery can be motorized too. I thought only the blinds. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, we could, you That's want okay. it motorized. We'll make it move for you. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't move, you coming get... in. <laughs> you move it. And then you can have the shades. 
So then in this case, I have solar shades behind okay. to drop down and block out even more light if I wanted. Right. And then here also, you see how it looks very dark on the one side? Yep. So what I did was I have three solar shades. So 1%, 3%, 5%. So oh, someone can see, see okay. what it looks like right. in their home, or Makes I wouldn't sense. do this in your home, more in your office. Right. To give you a little bit of privacy. I would never do a solar shade in a home environment. Why, why is that? Uh, it doesn't give you enough privacy when you feel you want it. Oh, I see. Okay. So you probably so, want blackout. Yeah. So you want, you want something that will offer you privacy. Yeah. But, um, and, and that means no one can see it. So what happens on a, on a solar shade, yeah. what you'd see in, let's say, Starbucks or Tim Hortons, during the day, you can see out because mm -hmm. it's a transfer of light. So right. during the day, you're able to see out and no one can see in. But at night, because it's now brighter inside and darker mm -hmm. outside, the light's traveling to the outside. Right. So figure right. on that pinhole camera, and now people outside have a clear view in. Oh, I see. Okay. So you, so really you don't, want I to. wouldn't put it in the house because mm -hmm. you know, you have a false sense of privacy because through the day you're like, Oh, no one can see me. And then in it's the evening because, you're walking around yeah. in your underwear and then all your neighbors are looking at you. Right. Because you can't see outside. It doesn't mean they can't see you. <laughs> Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would always look to in a home environment, put something that will always give you privacy. privacy. If it's an office environment, then we can look to a solar shade that's going to give you a bit of visibility out. Mm -hmm. At night, you're not too concerned because most of the times you're not there. You could right. also look at it at night if you're inside and people can see in. It might right. be a sense of security too because then should anything be happening in the office. Yeah, the street or whoever walking yeah. by can, can be Correct. a set up eyes. So. Okay, makes sense. Um, beautiful uh, office. Where is Thank your you. showroom? Uh, we're in Vaughan, so in Vaughan. basically Pine Valley and Highway 7, right off of the 407. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on 71 Marycroft Ave. Okay, and uh, what's the best way for people to learn more about your business? Call you on your website or? Uh, we have, we're visible uh, on the website at www.rescomdesigns.com. Yeah. On Instagram, Pinterest, House. <laughs> okay, <laughs> everywhere. Okay, yeah. I'll put some links uh, when I post this video. I'm going to put some links uh, Thank you. to those pages. Um, and uh, last question, you guys are still working right now, correct? People yes. can still find you. And if they have any needs, they can at least uh, get the ball rolling, schedule for you guys for whenever. If they don't feel comfortable having people in, at least they can yeah. So what we're doing is yeah. we, we're only doing one appointment today. Okay. If if someone wants, because there are people that are still, you know, there are people we've been working with or yeah. that can say, hey, I'm, I've been fine. So we've chatted with them. You know, have you gone away? Asked them all the normal questions okay. to find out if they're okay. And if they are and they want us to come in, we will come in, but keep our distance. Right. Um, and in some, and in a lot of cases, what we're doing now is we're just providing the quotes online. So if you have right. the widths Dimension, and heights, uh, yeah. we can sort of narrow it down so that we know you know exactly the numbers we're prepared to work with everyone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um there are pluses and minuses to that because someone will say well you know they can take it and shop you and just make you do a lot of work but again right. it is the nature of the business no matter what you do and you make the best yeah. of what it is we right. it's still a service and we still stand by the fact that we know we have a product that is going to last mm -hmm. and stand by it 100 percent Okay. Not many people have a showroom that, you know, you could come see, touch, feel, and we're not going anywhere. Okay. Awesome. That's really good. And especially people with like a vacant house, uh, they have a rental that's vacant or they have a shop, uh, a storefront that's not operating. You guys can still go in and do whatever yes. you need to do. Right. Yeah. So, so we have a those lot of construction don't have sites that yeah. are going on, right. You know, so we, we could go in, there's, there's a cottage right doing, um, North of Peterborough. Nice. So, okay. Yeah, you know, exactly. We're going to go in and do the okay. install. And those are all sent over. The measurements were sent over from the designer, Design Michelle Bennett. Right. Um, so we were able to sort of put that together. And then the whole install is being done on site probably in the next week or two. We're waiting for a couple of things to finish. Okay. Very good to know. Very good to know. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Kyle.
Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, no problem. And uh, hopefully we'll catch up soon in, uh, in yes. person. <laughs> yes, I look forward to it. Okay. All right. Have a Take care. Enjoy. You too. Talk to yeah. you soon. Take bye -bye. care, man. Okay, bye.